Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about how uh, the zodiac sign Scorpio may be uh, manipulated. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Well, anyway, first thing off the bat, I want to uh, state is that this is not uh, this video series I'm doing on how the zodiac signs may be manipulated it's not so much as to give people insight as to how to manipulate the zodiac signs but the zodiac signs in question in the video that i'm videos i'm talking about they themselves uh it's really to give them more insight what to look for as far as people uh, using tactics to manipulate them so anyway first thing up is well first thing i'll look at uh I think, I mean, Scorpio, first of all, is obviously, I mean, maybe the most difficult sign to manipulate because they are strongly connected with it. It is the zodiac sign associated with the manip manipulation, most synonymous with it, of the zodiac signs. The thing about it is Scorpio can often, I mean, uh, detect prevarication, lying, um, very quickly from someone they could look for a little whether it's nuances a little subtle uh body language i mean such as somebody met gulping when they're i mean talking uh they're giving an answer look they could look for i mean because a lot of times when people at when they're telling somebody giving somebody an answer to somebody that they're, they're they've been asked about I mean, if one thing to look for is that gulp sign when somebody will gulp when they'll be talking. I'm just saying that as an example, Scorpio can very readily see through subterfuge and superficiality, and they can be uh, the best at that. So that it's very hard to manipulate them. But the thing about them is, one thing, I mean, all zodiac signs have a weakness, and perhaps, I mean, one of Scorpio's biggest weaknesses can be their jealous uh, tendencies. Now, the thing about it is, uh, if Scorpio is in an intimate relationship, sexual relationship with somebody, the Scorpio uh, significant other, uh, if they flirt with someone, this could often exasperate and irritate Scorpio. Sometimes this might simply be done to, to do that because people can often sense that in Scorpio and that could really agitate and irritate them more so than the other uh, zodiac signs. Scorpio can even succumb to even maniacal jealousy in some extreme cases and very negative manifestation. The thing about it is too, and again, uh, as far as the jealousy with Scorpio goes, somebody that may have, I mean, a, a bigger, greater stature in life and so in my more possessions, a uh, better monetary situation, career, or what have you, Scorpio can be uh, can become angry just simply at somebody that might have a little bit more than them uh, in life than he or she uh, may have. And the thing too is, is that people can often, I mean, feed off of Scorpio's very obsessive and fixated uh, behavior. The thing is, somebody could say, well, you know what? I can't figure this out. Something that requires very strong problem solving uh, ability. Scorpio can often be the one to help out in those situations. And uh, ways this could manifest in terms of manipulation, people may use Scorpio to do these things, to help them out with these things. It could even be diagnosing a mechanical issue on a vehicle because Scorpio can often be very proficient in terms of things mechanically. They often could have very good mechanical skill and ability. Um, the thing about it is this could be like a Rubik's Cube or a brain teaser, again, a mechanical problem. It could be some kind of puzzle, uh, figuring something out in a puzzle book, a hard Sudoku puzzle. But the thing about it is, well, another way this could manifest in terms of manipulating Scorpio, Scorpio wants to all, I mean, often more than the other zodiac signs on average, I believe, wants to solve things. They are about, they can be very enamored with mysteries in things that could be in conundrums, things that could be uh, really, uh, think that, are, that might appear everything but unsolvable, again, like a Rubik's Cube or some very hard, very hard brain teaser problem. And somebody may give Scorpio something like this, feed off of this energy and say, well, okay, I want to give you this to figure out. I can't do it. And sometimes the person might actually be able to do it, but they know that it might drive Scorpio figuratively crazy trying to figure something out that could be you know, somewhat complex. 
The ironic thing is that Scorpio can be perceived as com very complex uh, by others. Now, in Scorpio, we'll often work with relentless, persistent determination to try to figure out something, no matter how complex it might actually be. Now, another thing about Scorpio is that of all the zodiac signs on average, I see them as being the most vengeful and vindictive. Scorpio uh, may simply hate it when they have the ability, I mean, really, when, when they have difficulty and maybe trying to get somebody back from an, an iniquitous action that was committed against them by a person, such as somebody disappearing on Scorpio after they've done something uh, to them. And, and, and I mean, in order to get somebody back, I mean, you often have to locate the person and know their whereabouts. What could happen is somebody could get at Scorpio right before they move into another community, do something uh, to them, whether you, something very negative. And what in, in Scorpio really wants to often be that one, whether it's to get the last word, do the last negative action, exact their vengeance i mean and it will drive them figuratively crazy if they can't now scorpio again um i mean as a child i think what well, the way that scorpio may be manipulated um can be through the threat of taking things uh connected with control away from them. relinquishing control related items from scorpio it can even be something simple as remote control vehicles and devices because they can technically they can be controlled it could be uh setting a prayer and setting some uh threat of setting parental control devices more more stringent parental control um device on on a computer or laptop or what have you which could give i mean which uh, i mean scorpio is often very highly sexed and even as a uh, you know, youngster teenager i mean uh, they could be the ones that have the greatest i think proclivity to go on to those erratic uh, i'm sorry erotic sexual sites and and a threat to the scorpio losing or relinquishing certain power can really uh, get to them. That threat to that can often get Scorpio, uh, you can get Scorpio to do what you're requesting, and that could be the, really the intention by the parent, uh, often, of course, in those situations. Now, the thing about it is, it could even be taking a house key away from uh, a, to a Scorpio adolescent or teenager that's staying at home with their parents, making their curfew a little bit earlier get well having I mean when they lose their control they lose their power over something that those are the things that could put scorpio in a very strong state of fright and trepidation i believe and um the thing about it is to uh you you're going to have i mean you could even see that the power thing in adult situations is what can get to scorpio too let's say let's take another example let's say that um you're talking about a, a sports situation where you have uh, a Scorpio uh, head coach of a team, right? And the owner uh, says, okay, if you don't do such and such and get these players to play better, I'm going to relinquish or limit your power in order to, like, say, for example, of, of acquiring players of, of your, uh, in terms of your input, maybe, and, and who we, we can get on our team. Anything where there's that threat of relinquishing of power that could often get scorpio to do uh what is wanted and don't think scorpio is impervious to manipulation because they're sure not none of the zodiac signs are it's harder to get score to manipulate scorpio since they're the ones that are often doing the outmaneuvering the manipulation but it doesn't mean they can't be uh manipulated i think that's a strong uh, misconception i believe so anyway Another thing uh, about Scorpio too is, is when you look at um, when you look at Scorpio as well. Scorpio is often, I mean, the ones that are strongly connected with psychological warfare. I mean, you look at Scorpio; they are, I mean, they could be. Uh, in, as an example, I mean, they, I mean, Scorpio can use like intimidation tactics, coercion, things that can get 
uh, people to do what they want uh, by, by those use of tactics and those kind of tactics. Now, the thing is, I mean, you know, I'm going to use a sports example again. Many of you may know I'm pretty much uh, you know, really enamored with sports. I have a, another channel on YouTube uh, where I do my uh, NFL prediction videos. But anyway, now let's take an example. Let's say even on a recreational level, right? You have Scorpio uh, is, is trying to get into this person's head and say, well, uh, you can't beat me. Uh, you would say they're playing a basketball game. Oh, you can't beat me. I dominate you all the time in, in this and that. And uh, there, there's no way uh, there, there. I mean, there's just no way you can actually uh, you can actually beat me. You can't throw a rock in, in a river. I mean, you're just completely terrible. And the thing about it is what, what can be done is what, what the way that Scorpio can be manipulated in a situation like that, in this psychological warfare where Scorpio feels, you know, they could emer be emerging victorious. What could be done to them, though, is that there could be, the, I call it like a reversal of fortune, so to speak. The other person can reverse the on Scorpio and let Scorpio think, well, hey, okay, I'm going to let you win. I'll let you dominate me. Give Scorpio, say, a false sense of security. Then when the time comes, when it's, uh, when, when it's really, when it's time to play this, this Scorpio person, again, the Scorpio person, uh, might get a little bit complacent or cocky or what have you, and this other person can capitalize uh, on it. Or, I mean, in Scor that's the way Scorpio can be punk, so to speak. And uh, looking at this, um, the thing about this, too, is that another thing, when I look at uh, the zodiac sign, when I look at Scorpio, is that they are, uh, they could be the ones, too, uh, when I look at them. They are... Uh, I mean, again, they could be the consummate or quintessential uh, manipulator. And again, it can be very hard to manipulate them, but not impossible. What I want to get at now is, hold on a minute, people. Sorry about that. I'm back again. Now, anyway, it's also important to look at the house Scorpio falls on in a solar or natal chart because this could be the area or sector in life that one may be most vulnerable and susceptible to manipulation because Scorpio is associated with that. Now, in a solar or natal chart for Scorpio, of course, Scorpio will fall on the first house cusp. Now, the first house, interesting enough, okay, this rules early childhood. Now, Scorpio may be very susceptible and vulnerable to manipulation from people that were prominent in their early childhood. The reason is this because Scorpio, as many people know, excuse me, can be very cynical and skeptical. It takes a long time to earn Scorpio's trust in, in many instances. However, Scorpio as an adult say, they somebody from their early childhood would be somebody they knew a number of years ago. These could be people that have, uh, they even try, they really have a certain amount of a lot of credibility with Scorpio. And Scorpio may very well trust more than others on average because they've known them for such a long duration. For those reasons, those people can have maybe the greatest propensity to dupe Scorpio or one of the greatest propensities to dupe Scor Scorpio for that reason. Now, another thing is, the first house, of course, is also the house of self. Can Scorpio maybe manipulate themselves to some degree? Whether it's, it might not be on a conscious level all the time, but I think it could happen at least on a subconscious level. I think what Scorpio can do is they could all, Scorpio is known for their resiliency, right? They could be, they, for example, they could set a situation up for themselves where they might be conquered. As a result, this could give them a strong reason to come back and try the same thing again and conquer it the next time around, thus showing their resiliency. Of course, many of you may know Scorpio is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Scorpio might do something and, and get a situation where they wind up losing, but then later on they could try to do the same thing at a later point in time and emerge victorious. 
whether it's a, a, some kind of competition, whatever it might be, could be get, it could be some very simple as getting up on a horse and falling off uh, one time and then getting back on it and riding it again, climbing up, trying to climb a mountain one time, failing, next time, conquer it. That's kind of the Scorpio, uh, really, that, that, that is really a, a lot of what they're about. That's part of their modus operandi, I think. I think the resiliency is very strong proponent in Scorpio's nature. Now, another thing, too, uh, it's also important to look at the, um, the house cusp that Pisces falls on in a solar or natal chart is this could be the area or sector in life where one may be most susceptible to deception and duplicity. And that could be tied into manipulation as well. Now, Pisces often falls on the fifth house cusp in a solar or natal chart for Scorpio. The fifth house, of course, is connected with children. I think what it is is Scorpio um, might think that in, they, or at least convince themselves into thinking that children, their children, what have you, can't, can't really be that manipulative or can't outmaneuver them. That could give Scorpio that false sense of security. And this could be, I mean, they might think they're impervious to manipulation by their children. This could be about self-deception. And because that they feel that Scorpio, uh, they, they feel their children don't have that ability to, because Scorpio might feel that, that, you know, I mean, who, who can actually do this to me? A child will not be able to do this to me. So I think what happens is Scorpio gets a little relaxed, uh, so to speak, as far as, uh, as far as that goes. And their guard could be let down a little bit easier with children uh, than, than most. Now, the thing about it is, and I think, too, also the fifth house is about romance. Now, I think often Scorpio, what could happen with them is they might delude themselves into thinking they have the power and control in the connection more often than not. And they may. But I think sometimes this arrogance in them, to some degree, lack of a better word, their arrogance, in a way, can set themselves up for being deceived. A uh, lover, I mean, they might, do, it's a lot of this is about this delusion. The thing about it is, um, and the fifth house can also be about our superficial connections. Now, Scorpio, don't get me wrong, they're more often more about their deep, intimate connections. But when you have some Scorpios that might be uh, very oversexed, you might have you might have some maybe in a, maybe in a somewhat negative manifestation might have uh, it might work where they might have one superficial fling after another. If they're if if it's a Scorpio that is not as much into the deep intimate connections as the average one may be, and the way it can manifest Scorpio's over sex nature in a lot of cases might work where they'll just have one superficial fling after another, and that strong desire uh, for this I think could allow maybe others to be using these people that might be giving Scorpio the sex might might be somehow manipulating them uh, in some in some way and it could be uh, and, and real because feed they might feed off of Scorpio's need to have this to have uh, to have their sexual needs uh, satisfied or what have you so you could find these people saying well if you don't do such and such for me i'm not going to give you a uh, grant your sexual needs so that's basically what i'm saying so in those in that sense maybe they can be somewhat manipulated in those instances so uh basically and then maybe they're deluding themselves in in the process that these people don't have the ability to do it, but they could use their own uh, Scorpio's strong sexual nature perhaps against him or her in those situations. That's basically what I'm saying. Um, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment and how uh, I believe Scorpio can be uh, manipulated. Stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about how I believe the zodiac sign Sagittarius can be manipulated. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. 
And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.